In this section, we are going to see how to create sample lines and finally the cross sections. So to create sample lines, first we need to go to home tab, go to sample lines. So sample lines are created based on alignment. So you need to select an alignment. So it is uh, select it is telling in the command line select an alignment so you can press enter to select an alignment easily so you press enter and our alignment is center line alignment which we have sold the corridor information so click ok so it will tell you all the available data sources here to create the corridor uh, actually it's create the sample lines so this is the corridor surface and this is the corridor if you see here this is the corridor surface this is the corridor so for the corridor surface we will select a separate style from here and click finish ground that is the style we are going to use this is the basic style and this is the existing ground style so we cl click ok we are not going to change anything we accept most of the thing as default we click ok it will pop up a small toolbar here sample line creation toolbar so there we are going to set up the sample lines so we have to go to here to create the sample lines and we tell by range of stations then it will pop up a new window so i am maximizing the window for easy viewing so we are creating sample lines from start to end if you want you can choose customize range so left sort which means how much to the left you are going to take data for your cross section from the center line and how much width we are going to use for the right side means by the right side fourth width then at what interval you need the cross section so section if it is 20 meter interval it is you have to select 20 meter if it is 10 meter likewise according to the requirement you have to set so we are not going to change anything then range start and range end means start of the corridor or corridor section end of the corridor or corridor section and others things are here i am not going to we are not going to set these things we are accepting the defaults and click ok now you will see your cross sections for sample lines are actually created now i am closing this toolbar so you can see your sample lines are created with labels so it's 0 20 40 likewise at 20 meter intervals it has been created so if you want to uh, turn off these labels you can click the sample line i one of any of the sample lines go to edit label group and click this section leave labels uncheck this one actually remove this one and you won't see any labels now we are only seeing the sample lines so at these locations we will be getting the cross section so if you click any sample line it will show you it is a sample line and the width is uh, sorry the station is 660 likewise so for so when you are creating the sample line for the first time so you need to make sure you are selecting a width sort width more than the corridor width uh, with then then only you will be getting all the data from the corridor to the uh, cross section so section views so now i am going to create the section views so to do that i am selecting one sample line here and go to create section view go to create multiple section views but because we are going to create all the section views now so i go to create multiple section views then it is giving me just some op options to change if you like so if you want to get cross sections throughout the road you can use this option so if you want part of the corridor part of the sample lines you can use this one so i'm just moving here so instead of a plan production sheet you will be using this option as a start uh, because we are following a basic uh, program to get an idea about civil 3d as a beginner so I click, click next again so this is about the offset range that means the swath width and this is about elevation range we are not going to change anything at this stage so we are not going to change anything at this stage just 
go here and here also we have offset only data here so this time we will use major stations and offset elevations so for the eg elevations you have to select the uh, eg one so we will we are going to modify this later at the moment we will accept this as it is so these are actually bands of the cross section this area we will see what it is at the end so we create cross sections now it is asking to select a location to create the cross section we will click it somewhere here away from the profile and everything then you will see your cross sections now created so you can see now our cross sections are now created so since this is bit uh, ugly or not looking good I am going to change the scale here like 1 is to 250 so and then I will click any of these sections and go to update layout so we will be getting a better view right so now you have the cross section here so if you need you can change this uh, display so to do that you have to select one cross section and go to section view group properties from here click there then go to section step and under the corridor that means this one this is the corridor surface this is the corridor so go to change the style change it with view edit something like that click ok and click ok again so you will see everything with all the data and if you like again i will go here we, we can use view edit with, sorry view edit with shading this one so it will have the a layer thickness as shown straight away so i click ok here so now you can see this is your road this is the layers we have this is the slopes we adopted minus 2.5 and this is the shoulder slope minus 4 and these are the elevations at various intervals so at the H you will have this type kind of elevation using that one so what really happens is you have this section like here so when you have the slope like here it will set you the daylight this is called the daylight we added at the end and if you move on to another section some which is on top of the ground you will see it more clearly sometimes here here you can see when the when the when this point is over the top of existing ground this is the existing ground so it will slope down until the existing ground if it is below the existing ground it will slope up until the existing ground so that is about the cross sections then we are going to update this band so that we are getting the correct information so to do that i will click, click one of the cross sections then go to view group properties then i am going to section view step from here i will drag this to get more clear view then i will select this change band style click here and on the bands so our first one is existing elevation so we have to set this existing elevation existing elevation is given by the eg surface so i have to set this to as eg then i have the proposed elevation it is given by the corridor surface like here corridor surface offsets uh, it's better to use the eg one it is okay to use either one but i suggest you to use the eg one and we click ok and click ok again so now you will see all the cross sections are populated with data so now we can see we have uh, minimum data here uh, because of the uh, i think some uh, weeding error so we will see what the problem here so actually this is the offsets are shown at 10 meter intervals that is the problem so instead to solve the issue i will go to here and go to here and i will 
change this match major increments and I will make this 2.5 intervals this both of these as 2.5 intervals so your data will be displayed at 2.5 intervals from the center line so I click OK here and I click OK here again now you can see your data will be shown at 2.5 intervals right you can see here so some of the data is going outside because of the scale but actually you can see the required data here uh, so you have the existing so you have the center line and existing elevation everything here So your offset is 0 and your proposed elevation is 14.6 your uh, modified elevation is uh, existing ground elevation is 14.2 likewise you have all these data and also at the top you have the data here as well so this is how to create cross sections so that completes the beginner uh, program of civil 3d i hope you have get more understanding about creating cross sections uh, so you can practice more uh, with cross sections in the uh, with more advanced knowledge if you follow these things very uh, thoroughly